Sonic Frontiers has more content than meets the eye. In a recent interview with Azuka and an Italian gaming website, Every Eye, Azuka states that Sonic Frontiers has the most content out of any Sonic game. Quote, We wanted to make sure that Starfall Islands were stimulating enough for players, with a lot of mini-games and activities that would grab their attention while exploring. We immediately thought about where we should place puzzles, ramps, and all of those elements that would keep the user's curiosity alive. This is great news considering that in recent years we've been seeing some pretty debatable features considered as content, especially considering that these Sonic games that are meant to be celebrating Sonic's history have been pretty lackluster in that department. I'm looking at you, Sonic Origins. So I'm glad Azuka's pushing to fill out the world with stuff to do, as that is probably the number one downfall of most open world games. Nobody wants to be wandering around aimlessly in an empty world, which was the perception in the first IGN footage. And look how that's turning out. With all the previews that we've gotten now, all the islands seem to be looking a lot more lusher and filled out. A complete 180 from what we were expecting. But anyways, subscribe to the channel to keep up with all this momentum. It only takes about two seconds for this absolutely free content, and you could always change your mind later. Mr. Bane